Hey everyone. Today I'm just going to put in an Apex uh, forward assist uh, trigger bar. This is supposed to be for manual safeties and non-manual safeties, so it should work with the M17. I'm just trying to clean up the trigger pull overall, uh, just the travel, um, you know, the, the length of the pull, and just just try and get it cleaned up. It's a little sloppy, but uh, we have uh, an empty mag well, uh, empty weapon. Um, so the trigger pull itself, it's you know, it's got some pre-travel to it. The wall's there, but it kind of just mushes its way through. Um, so we'll see if this cleans it up at all. So here is the FCU taken out. Uh, this is the factory uh, forward set trigger bar. And this here is the Apex one. Um, you know, it's polished up real nice. Um, and then it comes with also, uh, I, I guess that's a uh, travel stop bar. And then there's a little spring here as well uh, that it comes with. Okay, so we got the trigger bar taken off. Uh, the first step we're going to do is we're just going to, this pin right here, we're just going to pull this pin out and uh, put the spring and the, um, the little over uh, the little over travel bar. Um, put that on as well. Okay, and you can see we got the, uh, that spring and that little uh, tube on. Okay, so we got the apex trigger back on and the reset spring all in. I believe this is an Armory Craft uh, reset spring, so it's got a little bit more tension um, than the factory one. I don't know if that plays into anything that has to do with the apex bar. Okay, so we get the weapon back together. Weapon is still clear. Um, so let's just do a functions check on this thing, see if it, if it actually works. So weapon's on safe right now. Nothing's happening, it's good. All right, hammer falls. Let's do the reset. Resets. All right, function check works good. So, yeah, I can notice there's definitely less play, um, less pre, a lot less pre-travel. Right now, that's it. I'm at the wall. There's the break. Uh, it's still not super crisp. I think it's a little better than it was, but there's, you know, a little bit of a little bit of mush to it. Um, and then there's no over travel. Uh, it just stops right there where it breaks. And then the reset, let's do that again. The reset seems to be the same to me. Yeah, uh, it doesn't feel like the reset's any shorter um, or any crisper or anything. So the reset and then you're right at the wall again. There's no, no play, you're right at the wall, it breaks. So, I mean, the Apex bar, it, it, got, it got rid of that, that pre-travel. Um, I think that's probably really the majority of, of what it did uh, for me. Uh, you know, I'll take it out to the range, see if it makes a difference shooting it. I think the, you know, the, the bar itself is like $90, so it's not the cheapest modification. You know, just looking to take up or take away that that initial take up on the trigger, and it's worth ninety dollars to you. You know, that could be something to consider. Um, I don't think there's any difference in trigger pull weight or anything. From what I've heard on on the forums, it seems like if you've got this uh, enhanced skeletonized flat trigger, it might actually increase the trigger pull weight. I can't really tell. I can't really feel a difference between what what it was prior to and now after the installation but you know just just my take on it and uh i hope you enjoyed the video thanks